Well, the kids have been back in school for about a week, and if the transition was tough, maybe they need a little something extra to help their brains fire on all cylinders. With more on how to achieve that the natural way, I'm joined by naturopathic Dr. Olivia Rose. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. Here we are. We're back. Yes, we're back we're at back. school, back at work. Everything's yep. back to normal here, but sometimes you know you feel like you need a little boost little to get going. Boost. Yes. So what do you have for us? So first thing we want to do is um, work on increasing your fatty acids. So the brain is actually made up of 70% fat. One fat in particular, DHA, is really important for the brain's functioning. Okay. So you can get that through eating fish maybe twice a week okay. or by including a fish oil. Um, okay. So this is, this is the fish oil. And okay. then you also want to look at other types of fats. So extra virgin olive oil, avocados, nuts and seeds. You really want to make sure that um, whether you're a, a child mm -hmm. or a teenager or an adult going back to school or back to work, that you get enough fat in your diet. So that is a, it's an essential thing. It's you need so that key. fat, that good fat. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay, that's okay. very interesting. And then the other thing is just carbohydrates in general. You never want to restrict carbohydrates. But you hear so much talk, you know, yeah. I want to keep my carbs low so I can exactly. lose weight and stay slim. But you do need Carbs. Yeah, it makes for a very cranky person, someone who can't focus if you're not getting enough carbohydrates. Glucose is the primary fuel for the brain. So if you don't get enough of that carbohydrate, you're going to be sluggish and not going to be as alert and not able to process things. Okay. So, you know, for kids, sweet potato. You know, sweet potato mm -hmm. fries are very simple to do. Mm -hmm. It keeps them, keeps them very energetic, but also has fiber in there, which is great. And a moon boosting, boosting um, vitamin so A as well. A good carb. Yeah, good like carb, that. whole grain. So Mary's gone crackers, like whole grain crackers, also really good to boost that glucose in the brain. Once again, good carbs, yes, you know, and you need the good carbs. right, and not saturated too much no. with fat. Yeah, good uh -huh. fat only. Okay, right? got it. So then we have protein. So some kids in my practice are kind of picky with the protein. They don't really feel like eating meats or whatever. So you want to think of creative ways to get the protein into their system. Protein, basically, when you break it down, you form those amino acids, which help to build those chemicals that the brain needs to communicate. Okay. So here are some roasted chickpeas. We have a protein bar, but you want to make sure that the protein bar, if you're going to use it. it doesn't have a whole list of ingredients on the back with fillers and chemicals and colorings uh -huh. so you want to get a really clean protein bar if you're going to use that okay so not a right. long list not too 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 much exactly. there on that yeah. list what so, about the chickpeas can you just can you buy them roasted or you, you can but it's so easy just to roast it yourself in the just oven? get the yeah in the yeah. oven 45 minutes add whatever seasonings you like Okay, that's really easy. Very easy. Hummus as well, mm. another fantastic uh, protein source. Um, greens, this is a green, this is an everything smoothie. It has greens in there as well. So you get your iron, you get your, your protein, you get everything in there. Which brings me to iron because iron, so in 84% of ADD and ADHD children in one study, they found that their iron levels were low. Mm. And iron is really, really important for increasing oxygen to the brain. And oxygen to the brain sure. is always a good thing. Um, so you might need to take iron, but okay. really important to get iron checked, especially for um, teenage girls right around the time of menstruation. Usually that's when an iron deficiency might show up if it's going to. Um, so you want to make sure that you're, you're being mindful of how much and iron that, you're having. And that's pretty easy to check for, right, yeah, with your physician? Yeah, go to your doctor, or, yeah. you know, okay. whether you're a medical doctor or naturopath, both can check it. Okay. Um, and then we have probiotics. And you right. know, people don't really think of probiotics for brain, but there's some research about showing... For yeah, for right. your gut, right? right. Your gut bacteria actually plays a role in the, in the formation of the structure of your brain, we believe. Um, and also in healthy volunteers in one study, um, probiotic supplement actually was able to help prevent depression and anxiety in these volunteers. Okay. So um, there's many ways to get probiotics, whether it's through fermented foods like um, kefir, um, which contains a variety of different strains of, of uh, bacteria what is or it like? supplements. Is it like so a this is actually or? yeah. So this is actually a, oh. like a liquid yogurt. Oh okay. You know, so you can just take. You don't have to drink too much. Just like a tablespoon a day would give you a oh. lot of good bacteria for your That's gut good to and know. for your brain. Kefir. Got yes. it. Got it. Got it. Right. And, and then have? we have zinc. So zinc, the highest amount of zinc in the body is actually found in the brain. The zinc actually plays a really important role in regulating all of those neurotransmitters, those chemicals in the brain that we need to function. Um, and so if you eat processed foods, if you're a vegetarian and don't eat a lot of meat, you might be low in zinc. So yeah, you get so zinc you can through. get zinc through um, pumpkin seeds. So this is pumpkin oh, seed butter as oh, an good. alternative to peanut butter. You can okay. dip some apples in there. Right. Um, you can do a supplement if you had to. Um, sunflower seeds, cashew nut, nuts, cashew nuts okay. are also high um, right. as well. So.
There That's you go. Fantastic. That's zinc. Okay. And then we have ginkgo. So ginkgo is a is one of the oldest living plant species, and it's really great for increasing circulation to the brain. It's great for preventing that platelet stickiness, so it's great for preventing stroke. It's great for short-term memory and for helping with learning yeah. as well. So for some people, if they're having difficulty, I may prescribe this okay. um, if they need that boost um, as well. So that's ginkgo. Really awesome. That's great. Okay, we're just about out of yeah. time. What's the last uh, so ingredient there? So this is um, a multivitamin. So this is just to show for good. picky picky eaters. Sure. You might want to just do a multivitamin. Supplemented. Okay, exactly. quickly. So you had you need zinc. Right, you need iron yep. and uh, the fatty acids, like the fatty oils, are really good for brain health, right? Exactly. And you have a wonderful event happening at I the end of the month. Do yes. So September 26th, it is. I'm going to be at Beach Pilates in the beach area. It's going to be a women's evening. Um, it's all going to be. It's going to be about fashion and health, and it's going to be a night for um, giveaways and fashion and just how to be healthy from the inside out. So registration details are on my website, www.orosend.com, as so people can go there to uh, take a look at the details. Once again, always so informative. Thank you so Thank much, you naturopathic Dr. Olivia Rose. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.